So I was talking about black holes or we were talking about black holes and I realized I think there's infinite, three infinite variables and someone correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I am wrong, but I think there's infinite density at the singularity. I think there's infinite energy at the singularity and I think there's infinite compression. Well, I guess that is density. But I was, I was saying to you, I think there's probably infinite time at the singularity. And by infinite time, I mean, I think at the singularity, time probably ceases to exist, which is basically another way to say time is infinite. I think all three of those variables are infinite at the singularity. And you were talking about Hawking radiation and how they evaporate over time. Right. And that black holes do dissipate over time. So yeah. they're not actually, they have infinite components, but at the end of the day, they're not actually infinite. Right. So from our perspective, say, say you're at the singularity and somehow you could survive it. I think they probably are infinite from that perspective. Mm -hmm. But say from our perspective, um, over time, from our perspective, they have infinite density at the singularity and probably infinite energy, but they don't have infinite time from our perspective outside of the black hole. But you were saying Hawking radiation and they dissipate over time. From our perspective, that is happening. But what I said is I bet they don't completely disappear because I think that's just from our perspective that they would evaporate. But I bet if you could somehow analyze that point in the, um, like the fabric, I don't know if I even want to call it space, whatever, whatever fabric that the black hole is existing in, I bet if you could like analyze that, there would be some mark that the black hole was there. Like a scar? Yeah, something. Yeah. I think in my reasoning was something to do with like fields. When you make an observation, what you see is like a particle in a field. I feel like if you looked at where the black hole was and made the observation of it, you would see some remaining, let's call it like a black hole particle. You would see something in that field of space where it existed. That, that's kind of what I was getting at. So I feel like it would leave a mark and right. it would probably be in the point of some type of particle. We are accelerating the Large Hadron Collider looking for particles. I mean, the black hole could create a particle through the method I just described. It could literally take all this matter in, compress it to a point, and maybe that's happening in this, let's call it the black hole field. It's happening in the black hole field, and then through Hawking radiation, when it dissipates, it leaves the particle there in the field just sitting there. That, that could be really interesting. <laughs> and, and we're like messing with the Large Hadron Collider. Oh, let's see what particles we get. Think of all the particles possible between the Large Hadron Collider and <laughs> the black hole particle, the theoretical one I just explained. Mm -hmm. Like a neutron star, when it dissipates, could leave that same type of scar. You know, a lot of these things, there could be a huge range of like particles we haven't discovered. And we're messing around with this thing in CERN and we're like, this thing's like 50 miles long and it's so fast. And this has, we didn't find anything past the Higgs, so I guess we're done. Okay. Mm -hmm.